Good morning, everyone. This is His Word On. Alright, let's get right into God's Word. So today, we're going to be reading Numbers chapter 16. As a recap of Numbers chapter 15, we have the laws for Canaan, the land they're about to go to, right? The land that will become Israel. And they go in and they are to offer up a burnt offering. You know, when they perform a vow, and basically all the stuff that God said, right? And they offer up the drink offering, the meat offering, the flour, and the oil. And all that stuff for when they, you know, performing a vow. You know, or peace offerings and stuff like that. Basically what God said, right, at Mount Sinai is what they're going to be doing in the land, right? And then we have the law of the sojourner, which is basically the same as the Hebrews here, right, or the Israelites. And it's one, it's the same laws for the sojourner as it is for the Israelite. So, they have to offer up the burnt offerings, the meat offering, and all that, right? If they want to, you know, go with Israel and be with Israel. Even though they're, they were Gentiles, they're not now. They're, they're sojourners. They're adopted into Israel, right? But anyways... Then we have the, the Sabbath breaking guy here who is picking up sticks, you know, probably bringing in stuff for fire and all that stuff when he should have done it, you know, the day before, right? He should have got everything going. He knew what he was doing. He, you know, this is why God wasn't too happy, right? And he sentenced him to death because the guy knew what he was doing. He knew what God's commandments were and his laws were, right? And he still did it. But anyways, that is the end of Numbers chapter 15. Now we are on to Numbers chapter 16. Now Korah, the son of Izhar, and the son of Kohath, the son of Levi, and Dathan, and Ab or Ibram, the sons of Eliab, and On, the son of Peleth, sons of Reuben, took men, and they rose up before Moses, with certain of the children of Israel, two hundred and fifty princes of the assembly, famous in the congregation, men of renown. And they gathered themselves together against Moses and against Aaron, and said unto them, Ye take too much upon you, seeing all the congregation are holy, every one of them, and the Lord is among them. Wherefore then lift ye up yourselves above the congregation of the Lord. When Moses heard it, he fell upon his face, and spake unto Korah, and unto all his company, saying, Even tomorrow the Lord will show who are his, and who is holy, and will cause him to come near unto him. Even him whom he had chosen will he cause to come near unto him. This do, take you censers, Korah and all his company, and put f or fire therein, and put incense in them before the Lord tomorrow. And it shall be that the man whom the Lord doth choose, he shall be holy. Ye take too much upon you, ye sons of Levi. And Moses said unto Korah, Hear, I pray you, ye sons of Levi, seemeth it but a small thing unto you that the God of Israel has separated you from the congregation of Israel to bring you near to himself to do the service of the tabernacle of the Lord and to stand before the congregation to minister unto them and he hath brought thee near to him and all thy brethren the sons of Levi with thee and seek ye the priesthood also for which cause both thou and all thy company are gathered together against the Lord. And what is Aaron, that ye murmur against him? 
And Moses sent to call Dathan and Ibram, the sons of Eliab, which said, We will not come up. Is it a small thing that thou hast brought us up out of a land that floweth with milk and honey to kill us in the wilderness, except thou make thyself altogether a prince over us? Moreover, thou hast not brought us into a land that floweth with milk and honey, or given us inheritance of fields and vineyards. Would thou put out the eyes of these men? We will not come up. And Moses was very wroth, and said unto the Lord, Respect not their offering. I have not taken one ass from them, neither have I hurt one of them. And Moses said unto Korah, Be thou and all thy company before the Lord, and thou and they and Aaron tomorrow. And take every man his censer, and put incense in them, and bring ye before the Lord every man his censer, two hundred and fifty censers, that thou also and Aaron each of you his censer. And they took every man his censer, and put fire in them, and laid incense thereon, and stood in the door of the tabernacle of the congregation with Moses and Aaron. And Korah gathered all the congregation against them unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the glory of the Lord appeared unto all the congregation. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, Separate yourselves from among this congregation, that I may consume them in a moment. And they fell upon their faces and said, O oh God, the God of the spirits of all flesh, shall one man sin, and wilt thou be wroth with all the congregation? And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the congregation, saying, Get you up from about the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Ibram. And Moses rose up and went unto Dathan and Ibram, and the elders of Israel followed. And he spake unto the congregation, saying, Depart, I pray you, from the tents of these wicked men, and touch nothing of theirs, lest ye be consumed in all their sins. So they gat up from the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan and Ibram on every side. And Dathan and Abram came out, and stood in the door of their tents, and their wives, and their sons, and their little children. And Moses said, Hereby ye shall know that the Lord hath sent me to do all these works, for I have not done them of my own mind. If these men die the common death of all men, or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then the Lord hath not sent me. But if the Lord make a new thing, and the earth open her mouth, and swallow them up, with all them that pertain unto them, and they go down quick into the pit, then ye shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord. And it came to pass, as he made an end of speaking all these words, that the ground clave asunder that was under them, and the earth opened her mouth, and swallowed them up, and their houses, and all the men that appertained to Korah, and all their goods. They, and all that appertained to them, went down alive into the pit, and the earth closed up on them and they perished from among the congregation. And all Israel that were round about them fled at the cry of them, for they said, Lest the earth swallow us up also. And there came out a fire from the Lord, and consumed the two hundred and fifty men that offered incense. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Eleazar the son of Aaron the priest, that he take up the censers out of the burning, and scatter thou the fire yonder, for they are hollowed. The censer of these sinners against their own souls, let them make them broad plates for a covering of the altar, for they offer them before the Lord. Therefore they are hollowed, and they shall be a sign unto to the, or to the children of Israel. And Eleazar the priest took the brazen censers, wherewith they were burnt, had offered, and they were made broad plates for the covering of the altar to be a memorial to the children of Israel, that no stranger, which is not of the seed of Aaron, come near to offer incense before the Lord, that he be not as Korah and all his company, as the Lord said unto him by the hand of Moses. But on the morrow all the congregation of the children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron, saying, Ye have killed the people of the Lord. And it came to pass, when the congregation was gathered against Moses and against Aaron, that they took toward the tabernacle 
of the congregation, and behold, the cloud covered it, and the glory of the Lord appeared. And Moses and Aaron came before the tabernacle of the congregation. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Get you up from among this congregation, that I may consume them as in a moment. And they fell upon their faces. And Moses said unto Aaron, Take a censer, and put fire therein from off the altar, and put it on incense, and go quickly unto the congregation, and make an atonement for them. For there is wrath gone out from the Lord. The plague is begun. And Aaron took as Moses commanded, and ran into the midst of the congregation. And behold, the plague was begun among the people. And he put on incense, and made an atonement for the people. And he stood between the dead and the living, and the plague was stayed. Now that they died in the plague were fourteen thousand and seven hundred, beside them that died about the matter of Korah. And Aaron returned unto Moses, unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the plague was stayed. And that is the end of Numbers chapter 16. As a summary of Numbers chapter 16, we have Korah's rebellion, with all, the son of Issar, the son of Kohath, the son of Levi, Dathan, Ibram, the sons of Eliab and On, or On, sorry, the son of Peleth, the sons of Reuben, and they all took men, right? And these, they got them up, the men of renown of Israel, and 250 princes of the assembly, right? And they uh, wanted to have some power, right? And they were uh, saying, why do you, Moses and Aaron, get to have it? You know, why can't we have this? You know, and you are the one who, who uh, led us into this wilderness and all this, while totally forgetting they're the ones that did this to themselves, right? You know, it's speaks for in today's day and age right we like to blame other people for what we did you know what I mean this is what's going on here it's there they are the ones that didn't trust in the Lord they could have had that land of milk and honey if they just would have listened you know but here they are trying to start a rebellion and then um God calls, you know, talks to Moses and Aaron, says, get them to bring their censers, bring them to the congregation. And then God tells them to separate yourselves from them and that he's going to consume them. Right? And he does. God ends up consuming them. Right? And then we have the murmuring. What is it? The murmurings. Murmuring and plague. So God basically or the congregation hears about the killing of those people and then they start coming against Moses <laughs> you know it's like my goodness people you just see all the stuff that God is doing and you can't even see it <laughs> you know boy are humans just stupid <laughs> I hate to say it but anyways and they ended, God said, I'm going to consume them too, right? <laughs> so he ends up, you know, tells Aaron, get some censers, which is stuff that holds incense, is what it is. It's like a thing where you put your incense in and, you know, and all that. And, you know, God stated, you know, but they had to, <laughs> you know, go into the midst of the congregation and he uh, interceded for them, right? But anyways, oh yeah, and um, there was uh, 14,700 that died about the matter of Korah. Right, so anyways, I hope you guys ratify it and you guys have a wonderful day.